This right here is my free to play Clash Royale account where I'm not allowed to spend any money. And this episode right here, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be filled with a lot of love, baby. And that is because Clash Royale has been so gracious to us and they are allowing us to get a free card evolution during the month of February. And that is through this amazing, perfect match event. So we get daily gifts until February 14th when we will receive our chosen evolution for free. So let's see what evolutions we can choose. We have the Royal Recruits, the Firecracker, Royal Giant, Skeletons, Mortar, Knight, Barbarians, and Bats. Here's my issue though, here's my issue. I already have an evolution for the card that I use the most, which is the Firecracker. Really, none of the other cards I use so I don't really need evolutions for them. What I need is more tower troops. So in that case, I'm just gonna take the evolution that's the best. And that would have to be the knight. So I think we're gonna match with the knight. He can give me a good knight kiss, which is absolutely amazing. So we're gonna match with him and the knight is our perfect match. Anyway, it's the first day of the season, so we got a lot of stuff to talk about as well. I did some season token spending, so we got some stuff to upgrade. I got some common wild cards for the arrows, so we're gonna get them up to level 11. I also got some rare wild cards, so we're gonna put those towards the fireball. I didn't have enough tokens left over to get the book, but 200 rare wild cards is awesome. Oh yeah, if you didn't see, I also got, uh, a royal wild chest so that means that we will be getting a champion here really soon but i'm unlocking this gold chest so i'll wait and unlock that later tonight and it'll take a day so you know and also we have some free stuff in the shop as well we got some free common wild cards Oop, i gotta spend some first though hold on we're gonna put these towards the firecracker i have 800 that's amazing we're gonna put those towards the firecracker wait a minute oh man we're doing something crazy we're doing something crazy we got 500 free here that's awesome. And that should be enough to get our firecracker up to level 22 away. You know, I can fix that really quick. I already got some season tokens, so we're going to spend them on some common wild cards. And we are getting a level 12 evolved firecracker on the first day of the season. 35,000 gold, no sweat. And also we are level 27, which is fitting because my birthday is on February 27th. We love to see it. Ooh, legendary. Give me something good. Give me something good. Sparky. All right. That's not going to use her. But yeah, that's that for now. I'll see y'all when we get this royal wild chest unlocked. All right, everyone. We're back. Wait a minute. This isn't the right game. Hold on a second. Hey, Clash Mini's pretty fire, though. I, I absolutely love that game. Uh, yeah. So that segment was recorded before Clash Mini got killed. Um, rest in peace, Clash Mini. So we got our royal wild chest type deal. I already claimed my free reward in the shop today. It was some rare wild cards. I think it was a hundred of them. By the way, with these wild cards, I'm gonna use all of them so that way I can maximize like the wild cards I get from the royal wild chest. I don't want like any rollover. I don't think there will be, but I'm gonna use them anyway. Um, we're gonna put the legendary wild card on the ram rider. The common wild cards we'll put on the arrows since my firecracker is already level 12. Then the rare wild cards we'll put on the fireball. We're getting really close to level 12 fireball. I'll definitely get it with this chest. And now it is time for the royal wild chest. Ooh, I hope I get something good here. We do have the potential to get a new champion. I can get Archer Queen Mighty Miner as well as Skeleton King. So I hope. It's one of those. Regardless though, a free champion is awesome. Bunch of gold, 200 common wild cards, 55 rare wild cards, 15 epic wild cards, one legendary wild card, and then our champion. Oh, it's not gonna be a little prince, no. But it's Archer Queen! If I was gonna get any champion, I would have wanted it to be Archer Queen. Oh man, she is so bad though. Oh my gosh. Keep an eye on him, officer. You know, we may try her out just for a little bit. It does make the deck really expensive at 4.4, but hey, brand new champion, we gotta try her. Anyway, let's max out the fireball. Not max out, but you know, level 12. That's nice. Those epic wild cards I can put towards the witch. She's getting close level 13 as well. Oh yeah, baby. 86 out of 100, I need 14 more. And the crazy thing about the season shop this season, we get witches! And that's more value than the five epic wild cards because it's 100 season tokens cheaper. So let's get some witches, baby. Oh, we're getting level 13 witch today. Dude, we're making killer upgrades. This is insane. And as I like to reiterate, every now and then, completely free to play, by the way. I have two level 13 cards and everything else is at a minimum level 11. And also we're really close to another champion chest on the trophy road. We're only like hundred trophies away. So I'm gonna get that. <laughs> oh, what do you know? My arch nemesis has returned. Maybe I get a cannoneer. Probably not. 
No, I didn't expect to. Um, whatever, dude. That one gives us 150 common wild cards. That's that's actually a lot. Going straight on the arrows. Yup. And there is the last game. This dude had a level 14 witch. You have that and you can't beat me? You must be really horrible. Punisher just got punished, baby. Let's go. All right, so that gives me another champion. Two champions in one segment. Hey, we balling today. Please. Oh, we can get a queen. Give me a queen. Nope. Nah. Skeleton Gang. Skeleton Gang's still one of my favorite champions, but I have no use for him. We did get Mega Knight Mastery, though. So that's great. 12,000 gold. All right, that's it for now. Um, Next time you see me, we will be going on a date with our lover, the Knight. So see you then. All right, everyone, it is time that we get our free card evolution. I have waited kind of late, though. The season ends in a week, and I'm just now claiming it. But you know, I don't know why I'm doing this. But anyway, here we go. Here is our free evolved knight. Let's go. This is actually a massive W on Clash Royale's part to get a free card evolution. That's amazing. The only thing is though, like I said earlier, I don't really use any evolutions except for the firecracker. Maybe I can upgrade him and try using him. Let's see how high I can get him. Let's see. Only level eight. I can't compete with level eight common card. And I don't really want to upgrade him anymore. <laughs> yes, I do have common wild cards, but I don't really want to use them on the night. What do I do with this evolution? Because the other options I wasn't going to use either. The only one I use is the firecracker. There are so many shop offers. Look at this. We got an emo for $4. We got cannoneers. We got bombers and wall breakers. We got evolution shop offers. We got these offers. We got evolve wall breakers. And then we got these shop offers. Even more magic items. And then the diamond pass. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's funny, but it's not anyway What we're gonna do for the rest of the day is I got to finish up this challenge. I somehow am five and two I don't know how I've been this bad, but I would like to get this emote. I actually think it's pretty cool I may end up spending a hundred gems to re-roll and try again We'll see then we're gonna spend some season tokens because I have some things I want to do So yeah, let's do that and one more thing really quick This episode may end up spanning the course of two months. Of course right now. It's the end of February I'm recording this segment on the 25th, but we have a lot of stuff coming throughout the entire duration of March I can't say right now, but it's a lot of stuff that's going to be helping out this account a lot I don't know. I'm excited for the future of this account though Looking at March. It's it's gonna be nice in terms of progression another thing really quick what do you all want to see from this account? Because ultimately, I already achieved the initial goal I set out when I started this series. I was watching the first episode of this series the other day, and my goal was to hit 5,000 trophies. And I'm way past that at this point. I'm over 6,000. So at this point, I honestly kind of want this to be your series, I guess. If there's anything you want to see from a free-to-play perspective, absolutely let me know with a comment because at this point a new goal i want to set for myself i want to hit 9,000 trophies i would like to complete the trophy road and then of course i would like to hit ultimate champion as well that one of course is going to be a lot harder because i've only hit it once on my main account <laughs> but yeah just leave a comment let me know what you want to see um i'm happy to take suggestions for sure look at that i beat the challenge without having to do any retries let's go and we got a nice emote as a result oh yeah i didn't show you guys this i got this exclusive pig emote which i think was from like 2019 or 2020. <laughs> you may have seen in the clash Royale community a bunch of content creators doing giveaways for those emotes and giving out links so i gave a link to my free to play account is that cheating i don't know i i don't think so personally uh we're gonna use this instead of the firecracker and flex an exclusive emote that's like four years old <laughs> actually i got a thousand more tokens i can get so i'm gonna do that really quick with some tv2 eventually all right there we go we got our season tokens gives us a total of 22,809 with seven days left first things first we gotta do we gotta buy ourselves an evo shard we got four out of six now which is awesome then we also got to get ourselves a common book because with that we have a firecracker to upgrade 3,000 free firecrackers 75,000 gold is light work level 13 firecracker oh it's amazing that puts us at level 28 give me more progression I do not use any of those cards all right what am I gonna spend these 6,000 remaining on that sentence did not make sense what am I talking about I don't know I guess we'll get some more common wild cards and we'll put them towards my arrows, I think. I'll also buy some banner tokens for fun. I just, I just kind of want to. Every now and then you gotta have some fun. Not everything is about progression. It's, 
Clash Royale's a game, you know? Have some fun. Not everything has to be optimized. <laughs> There's some rare wild cards as well. Then with 409 remaining, we'll get some gold. With those rare wild cards, I guess I'll put them towards the fireball. And yeah, that was good progression, definitely. The biggest thing, when I buy an Evo Shard, that's 6,000 tokens taken away from progressing with wild cards and stuff like that. But it's gonna be worth it for another card evolution at some point. Whenever they do like evolved witch or skeleton army or arrows or something like that it's gonna be worth it anyway let's open the banner box that'll make me feel positive give me a decoration that is good you know that's not horrible there was one i got the other day which was actually really cool that i want to switch to uh yeah it was this one i think i think that one's cool that's all i'm gonna show you in this segment i will do my daily battles for the remaining seven days to get more season tokens and stuff and then i will see you in march when we have a lot of awesome stuff coming Alright everyone, it is March. It is actually in fact the end of March and we have, we have a lot to talk about. Of course, the biggest elephant in the room, Lucky Drops and the rework to daily tasks. For this account, this is absolutely game changing. The potential to get books and wild shards and elite wild cards and everything else for free is amazing. I love this update. People are complaining that the rewards are bad and that you're getting commons and rares too much. Here's the way I look at it. You are getting more progression than you were before. And you're complaining about that? That doesn't make much sense to me. Another thing that happened that I didn't get to record, it was in this tab, the News Royale tab. It was like this map challenge type deal. I forget what it was called. But we got like a lot of free rewards from that, which was cool. And that included some cannoneers so we can finally get it to a viable level at level 10. And because of that, I'm actually going to start using it instead of the princess tower, just for fun. We also had like this update giveaway thing, which is awesome. Flash Royale is taking tons of pages from Brawl Stars book and people are complaining that they're copying, but I'm not complaining because these are all good things. So that's 5,000 free gold, 10 cannoneers, and then 10 free epic wild cards. I messed up. I messed up. I should have spent my epic wild cards. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. I got golems. I'm not going to use golems, dude. I guess that's our cue for us to spend our magic items and stuff. Oh, wow. I have tons of common wild cards. Um, yeah. Level 12 arrows. Thank you. Also got a bunch of wild cards for my fireball. There is a rare book in the season shop, but I've invested too many wild cards at this point to use that book. So I'll just keep using rare wild cards for now. Also the epic wild cards, we will use those on the skeleton army. Then I have two legendary wild cards. I'm gonna put those on the Ram Rider. So really quick, let me talk about what I'm gonna do with Lucky Drops. Throughout the entirety of when they've been out, I recorded them every single day, but I only got commons and rares. So I'm not gonna show you what I got cause it's just magic items. But for epics and legendaries, I am gonna show you all what I get in those because that's really exciting stuff. Or if I get a rare that has like a champion wild card or something i'll show you all that but i'm not going to record the lucky drops every single day if i get like 20 comma wild cards you don't need to see that in the meantime we have this power surge challenge aka the worst challenge in clash royale history it's just a building bonanza that's all but we're gonna do this get the season tokens and then we're gonna spend all the tokens that i have two hours later oh my gosh that challenge was the worst thing i have ever played you know we got all the rewards though I didn't get the banner at the end. That's fine. I'll I'll do the thousand daily tokens later, but we have 23,000 season tokens to do. First things first, we have cannoneers in the season shop as well. I forgot to mention that. So we're going to buy some of those, especially now that we're going to use them. We're absolutely going to buy those. But there was no point in buying them because I forgot I can't upgrade them until I upgrade my king tower. But they'll be there whenever I decide to upgrade. Anyway, let's get the staples. Let's get the wild shard. We now have six out of six. So we can now do another evolution. Oh, that's insane. I'm going to save them, though. I'm going to save them. I am going to save them. We're also going to get a rare book. I don't plan on using this right now either. I think I talked about this earlier, but I'm going to use wild cards to get my fireball up to level 13. Then I can use the rare book to then get it to 14. That's my plan with that. So I'm going to keep the book and save it. Speaking of wild cards, we'll get a few of them. I think we'll get like a hundred. Yeah, we'll get a hundred. Can always benefit from some common wild cards. And then we'll get some epic wild cards. And just like that, I'm basically out of season tokens already. That's crazy. <laughs> Epic wild cards go towards the skeleton army. Rare wild cards towards the fireball. Then for the common wild cards, I guess I'll keep putting them towards the arrows. 
We'll keep doing that. I guess that's it for my season token spending for now. I'll get like 7,000 more before the end of the season. So with that, I plan to get more epic wild cards and then a legendary wild card or two. Yeah, I blew through those really quick. But yeah, this is where I plan to end the episode, but I'm gonna extend it just a tad bit more. I already did my lucky drop for today, but I'm gonna do one more. Since the most important thing in this video is the lucky drop, I think I need to open at least one more. So. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, here we are finishing off this episode with one lucky drop. I'm hoping for at least an epic. Let's see what happens. Common, common, common. Yeah. That tends to be what happens most of the time. But like I said, that's additional progress that we did not have before. I will take it. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's it for this free to play episode. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here as well. And there is also a playlist somewhere around here with the entire series. So yeah, watch both of those and I'll see y'all in the next one.